Good. Now today we're going to be talking about resistance of evil. You know, only because of the things of the good and the things of the God that can be resisted evil. Now, about Levi, I want you to read Proverbs chapter 15, verse 2. The tongue of the wise useth knowledge upright, but the mouth of fools peereth out foolish. Very good. Now, foolish is viewed as the world. And evil, someone or something that throws you off the track of the glory. Yeah. But, and to get you to thinking at the same time, what am I doing here? Yeah. But those that are wise in the Lord are wise in their words in edification through the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, amen. And a man of faith can benefit another man. And I learned in these couple days and couple of weeks, men of faith encourage and accept correction. The faith like to fight and don't handle correction very well. Now, Lord Levi, read Proverbs chapter 10, verse 2. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivereth from death. Very good point. Now we can ask ourselves, why don't the treasures of the wicked inherit the kingdom of heaven? Because it doesn't edify. Doesn't prof it's not profitable. Now suppose I wanted to give Brother Levi Williams something that would help him in his studies. I bought him a brand new Bible. All the versions in accordance even a Bible dictionary, but suppose I want to be selfish and keep my that gift for myself, and I give him an empty bookcase. I ask you, by the way, why would you benefit from that case? Yes. Empty case? No. <laughs> now, if Brother Levi cannot benefit from that empty case, how's the Lord did it benefit from it? And going on to my point, this is how the Lord's people think. They put the truth over the things of the world easily because they are in this, interested in the glory. Now, Borlev, I want you to read Proverbs chapter 15, 4 and 5. A wholesome tongue is like a tree of life. A fool despaireth his father's instruction. Now, I like to go on to another example. The taming of animals. And everybody in this room knows it's, impo it's possible to tame an animal, such as a dog or a cat or maybe even a horse. But when it comes down to taming the man of flesh, it's unteachable, in some ways dangerous. Scripture points out the tongue cannot be tamed. It's like a snake's venomous tongue. It can't be trusted. Now, Brother Levi, if we're going to ask directions to the glory land, are you going to ask Mr. Worldly Wise Man? No. Then who should we ask? God. Correct. <laughs> and we, we can trust in the ones who are righteous, for what they say is wholesome, pure. They give out spiritual instruction to getting in the glory. And the ones who are righteous know to resist temptation. Now, I believe I would read Proverbs 15, chapter 1. A soft answer turneth away, but a grievous word stir up anger. And I also notice when it comes down to the world today, when it comes down to the gospel, many are like to disagree. Many are in denial. And when it comes down to the gospel, they really lack knowledge about the Bible. And they can't take correction for the answers. And what it nails down to, that's why they like to argue about the Bible. No man of God is going to want to be around an ignorant man. A soft answer can be described as a voice of reason. And a voice of reason can calm an angry man to where he wants to listen. Where there's a 
grievous voice, it turns away the ears of people. But where there's a voice of reason with a soft answer, it causes a person to listen. Now, read Proverbs chapter 15, verse 7. The lips of the wise dis disperse no knowledge, but the heart of the foolish doth not so. Now I notice the heart of the foolish, they act like they want to do the right thing, but the spark isn't there, the drive isn't there. They don't encourage others to the truth. I notice that they always want to talk about something else besides the gospel. But coming out of the wise, the gospel is always, they always make the gospel known. They tell everyone. They're unashamed of the truth. Now read Proverbs 15, 19. The way of the slothful man is as a, a hedge of the thorns. But the way of a righteousness is made plain. Good point. Now, I have to say this about the foolish as I come to this closing point in this opening. As we are faithful brothers and sisters in Christ, we should be aware of foolishness because in faith, foolishness is viewed as evil. And I have heard these answers through weeks and months. Why go to church? Why just have some fun. Read. Why read the Bible? Read something important. Yes, I read the Bible every day. And some people can read, listen to the voice of a false prophet. But only a man of faith can spot a flaw in when it comes down to uh, the gospel. But we are men of faith, made pure in the Christ, clean to the temple of the Lord, and strong in faith. And if we focus on the things of the Heavenly Father, we'll resist evil, temptation from the wicked one. Now, who has the Bible class? We'll pray for Sister June as she comes up, and I believe I will lead, lead us in a prayer. Our dear Heavenly Father, I pray today for Sister June, and I pray that she'll do good in the Bible class, and that everybody will take something with home with it, and that they'll keep it and ponder on it, and in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.